Welcome students. My name is Dr. Shanmugam Ramar. We are going to study today's topic is CRM strategy and implementation. CRM strategy or CRM strategy shows the intent of a firm concerning its customer base pointing out how it shall acquire, maintain and retain customers through improvement in customers value deliverables as the way to enhance corporate performance so generally most of the business they want to acquire the customers if it is the they are entering into the new business or either they have to acquire the new customers if it is a new business or if it is the existing business every company they are planning to acquire a new customers once they acquire the customers they have to maintain how they are maintaining the things maintaining and retaining only through the loyalty programs if the loyalty programs was organized well was designed well and then ultimately they can retain the customer for a long time so they are the profitable for the company's lifetime of the product or service so based on this crm strategy and implementation model first one will be the crm readiness assessment that will leads to process one strategy development that will leads to enabling process so under this process to value creation either it may be a product or it may be a service Pro uh, process three is multi channel integrations that is the supply chain management then process four is information management leads to employee engagement how they are managing the employees select recruitment selection training and retaining the employee so this is the things comes under the employee engagement next the process five is performance assessment then so that leads to crm project management crm change management so the crm readiness stage enabling process employee in engagement is always a two way process strategy development this is the first step this involves development of crm strategic option for achieving established crm objectives for a every targeted segment therefore the best option shall be a adapted as a crm strategy and the right measures for performance shall be established so the targeted for example the apple apple mobiles they are targeting the high techno savvy peoples high income group peoples or some standard class of peoples then whatever the models due to the grace due to the reputations due to the brand image people are ready to purchase the brands this is the way the strategy develop next the strategy development process CRM vision stands as established customer value proportion affected through customer audit that leads to target customer segment based on value so already i discussed about the target customer it may be a luxurious car may be the business magnet or may be a celebrities then establishing crm objectives for every targeted segment it may be the high range low range or middle range then conduct capability analysis analysis then leads to develop crm strategic options and evaluate them that leads to choose the most appropriate crm strategy and establish the right measures for the performance so they have to analyze all the things finally they have to choose the strategy which strategy will hit will be success to retain the customers the customer assessed audit so what are the ways they are going for assessing the customer customer potential value to the company how long the customer will be beneficial to the organization then the next pattern is strength of the relationship value to the customer how the companies are patronizing the customer these are all the two things will be there based on this the key points are protect 
position every company they want to maintain they want to protect their positions then invest to protect for protecting their image also they are investing keep on ad campaigns are creating awareness are maintaining the customer relationship invest to win for example coca cola and the top most beverage is carbonic carbonic bottle drinks coca cola pepsi in northern india always coca cola wins in southern india always pepsi wins so damage limitations for an example brand one advertisement came brand h and then brand c so the brand h having certain limited nutritional values brand c having more than the nutrition value of brand h this will affect the damage of the horlex brand ultimately the sales also decline finally this is the damaging the limitations about the two competitive products based on the market share counter competitions reliance on tata counter competitions invest to build win the opportunities then careful management how they are managing then manage profitability build selectivity build selectivity manage the revenue manage for revenue then transactional manage profitability manage for profitability manage the revenue consider divesting they'll go for the diversification highly secure the first co column the second column secure the third column vulnerable invest to win sometimes may hit sometimes may not hit then fragile these are all the things comes under the strength of relationship next crm investment framework when we are going for the crm investment framework so maintain an efficiency trim so there are two relative degrees are there high and low will be there so for example real relevance the lowest one is low and then the next extreme is very high and then claimed importance so the lowest will be the low and then high suppose for example if the real relevance is very low and then the claimed importance is very low then trim over spending if the real relevance is very high and then the claimed importance is very low then it goes for the hidden opportunity they have to analyze they have to invest then when the real relevance is low and then the claimed importance is maintain efficiency it goes to hygiene factor so what are all the things will be coming under the hygiene factors improving the satisfier factors increases job satisfactions so these are the things employee related how they are retaining the employee improving the hygiene factors decreases the job dissatisfaction they have to improve always the dissatisfied they main they have to maintain the job satisfactions number 1 is working condition number 2 is co coworker relations number 3 is policy and rules number 4 supervisor quality number 5 base wage and salary these are all the hygiene factor this has to be improved motivating factors are achievement recognition responsibility work itself advancement and then personal growth this is inverse through training and development next interoperability of crm strategy the crm strategy must have a high level of interoperability with the corporate strategy and competitive strategies of the business portfolio when you go for the tata they will have fmg portfolio they will have the tata motors for automobiles portfolio they will have the jewelry portfolio when you go for the reliance they will have the digital portfolio 
they will have the automobiles portfolio like that so based on the portfolio who are the competitors so tata and then reliance having the competitions in india what is their corporate strategies so normally the using mckinsey's 7s framework for testing crm strategy there are two things will be there hot assess that is easy to identify and manage man can directly influence and then soft assess more difficult to describe less tangible and more influenced by culture for example let us take structure so under this structure what structure do we need to exe execute the strategy either they can go for the small level or medium level they can go for the higher level the next is system what business system do we need to use or invent to execute the strategy whether they are going for the innovation strategies or not and then which of our principles help us why do we do we do in the way we do it these are all the things will be coming under the shared value next the style what leadership style and cultural qualities will help us to achieve a strategic objectives either they are going for a transformation leadership or they are going for the transition leadership so normally the return tata will be a transformation leadership the next one will be the staff based on the staff how should we help our managers in their growth so where the employees was treated well where the management commitments towards the employee ultimately the reciprocation will be that the management the employees will be committed towards the organization is always the reciprocal and the next will be the skills what are the specific skills that will help us what skills do we need to develop it may be a technical skill or it may be a communication skill or it may be an analytical skill so what skill is required and then the next one will be the strategy what should we do to resolve the specific problems based on the specific problems what I, what is the problem whether they having the marketing problem whether they having the positioning problem whether they have the sale problem whether having the advertisement problem whether they have any fluctuation uh, and that depends on the mark economic conditions what depends on the competitors depends on the corporate the strategy will be devised so these are all the things will be coming and at the 7s framework to test the crm strategies to make it successful so 7s is the mckinsey's framework is very helpful to implement the crm model this is all for today's class the rest of the topic we will cover in next class thank you